Big news from our Baltimore Ravens, and let's get straight into it. So, we all know the Baltimore Ravens, they had to get down to 53 men on their roster yesterday, and they did just that. They had some real, real tough decisions to make, but they made them, but they're not done making decisions yet because there's still a lot more transactions that are to take place. Now, for instance, uh, the wide receivers. It was always expected that the Ravens had five locks at wide receiver, that being Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman, Devin DuVernay, Nelson Aguilar, and first round pick this year Zay Flowers and those five locks they all made the team but then there was some battle for that six wide receiver spot and most people assumed that it would be Tylen Wallace because of the plays that he made in the preseason and just because of his familiarity with the team and it ended up being Tylen Wallace because of the plays he made in the preseason and his familiarity with the team so he got that six wide receiver spot uh, but then Y'all remember when it was being said, it was floating around, uh, that the Ravens, though, they're the first team that could have five first-round picks at wide receiver on their team at one time because that's never happened before. And, again, Odell Beckham Jr., first-rounder, Nelson Aguilar, Rashad Bateman, Zay Flowers, and the fifth one was Laquan Treadwell. But Laquan Treadwell, he was cut in the 53-man roster cut down. And even though he made that nice touchdown catch uh, against the Bucks the other night, and he, I felt like he just wasn't used to being so wide open. He was like, man, how did I get so wide open on this play? Uh, that he hesitated to celebrate for a bit. But anyway, he did not make the initial roster. But all hope is not lost for Laquan Treadwell because, uh, according to Ian Rappaport, he said veteran wide receiver Laquan Treadwell plans to sign a practice squad deal with the Ravens to Morrow. So, Laquan Treadwell is going to be a Raven. He won't be on the active roster, but he'll be on the 16-man practice squad roster. So, this is telling me the Ravens are like, hey, we got to stay ready so we don't got to get ready. And with the Baltimore Ravens, it is on the in the back and the front of a lot of people's minds this year is health. Obviously, every year is health because that's been a thing that has really been taking the Ravens out of the postseason. It's been taking them out of contention every single year since 2020. It's been health. Remember, 2020, Lamar Jackson concussion in a playoff game. 2021, Lamar Jackson, he, what was it, the high ankle sprain? And then last year, uh, he got the injury too. So there, there's just been injuries. And not Lamar Jackson hasn't been the only person that's been getting hurt, uh, but he's been our uh, main guy that's been getting hurt. But our receivers too. Think about Odell Beckham Jr. He didn't even play last year. You think about Rashad Bateman. He hasn't played the full two years uh, of his tenure as a Baltimore Raven yet. So, there's injuries at different positions, but specifically wide receiver, you got to be careful with it. So Laquan Treadwell, uh, he is going to be that man that, hey, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. So just in case, hopefully they don't need to use him, but just in case because, you know, stuff happens. Anyway, moving on, uh, the Baltimore Ravens also, they cut some veterans, and I was like, whoa, I, I thought those guys were going to make the roster. Some of those cuts that they made uh, were to guys like uh, quarterback Josh Johnson, um, who had – he had looked decent this preseason. I know it, it started off a bit slow for him, but then he started to not necessarily catch fire, but he started to look a lot better, a lot more comfortable and whatnot. So I guess he just had to be out there a little bit more. But they cut Josh Johnson. Uh, they cut Melvin Gordon. Uh, they cut Kevon Seymour, who I – y'all know I said that he was a lock to make this Ravens roster. I really thought he was going to be there for sure. Uh, and they also cut Daryl Worley. I'm like, man, remember Daryl Worley? I remember him in that week uh, 18 game last year against the Bengals. He was, like, locking up. I said, whoa, Daryl Worley, where this come from? But, I, hey, I ain't complaining. I love it. But they cut him, and they, they also cut Brent Urban as well. But – all hope is not lost, at least for a few of those guys, because this morning, Josina Anderson, she reported, she said, I'm told QB Josh Johnson, uh, defensive back Kevon Seymour, and defensive end Brent Urban are currently expected to be added to the Ravens 53-man roster per source. So, if they are added to the roster, Ravens are already at 53 men right now. That means three men would have to step down. Three men would have to probably be put on short-term injury reserve, uh, to mean, meaning they could come back later because that would open up three roster spots. That would be the only way to open up three roster spots unless you release three players, but the Ravens are not going to do that. So uh, when you look around the roster, uh, who could be some of the guys that get put on IR? Now, one of them could possibly be Tyler Huntley. Ravens quarterback, their backup quarterback, Tyler Huntley, because he played in the first game against, uh, 
Ooh, the Eagles. And he came in there and did his thing, but then he left with a hamstring injury. And I remember thinking, like, okay, Ravens are just they just being extra cautious or whatnot. It ain't nothing serious. Harbaugh said it ain't nothing serious. Like, okay, cool, so it ain't nothing serious. I ain't gonna trip. Ravens fans, let's not trip. We'll team keep it clean, we good. Then we hadn't seen Tyler Huntley play since. And it was like, uh, okay, it is preseason. He's a backup quarterback. They normally play. Uh, what's going on? We hadn't seen him play or practice at all. Uh, it was reported just yesterday uh, that he was running on the adjacent side of the field. Uh, him and Tyus Bowser, that was actually two days ago. So that was good news. That, w- that was nice to hear about. So he's getting closer to coming back, but he didn't practice yet, so he's not ready yet. So I think Tyler Huntley, he could be a candidate for injured reserve. Uh, also, when you look at uh, the Ravens running backs, they got J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, and Keaton Mitchell. Now, Keaton Mitchell, he also had an injury scare in the preseason similar to Tyler Huntley, uh, but he had a shoulder stinger. And with a shoulder stinger, it could take a little bit to heal. It could take a, just maybe like a couple weeks sometimes to heal. It, it, it fluctuates, but it's not a serious injury. It's nothing that will keep him out for too long. But the Ravens could look at him like, huh, you had that shoulder stinger. You're not going to be a starter for us right now. you primarily be a special teams guy. Um, so maybe they could look at him like, all right, we could use your spot for one of those three guys. So he would be another candidate, in my opinion, uh, for them to possibly put him uh, on injured reserve. So we'll see what happens with that. Also, somebody else who I think the Ravens could do that with as well. And this is just my opinion. Again, NFL outside of no plugs, no sources, no connects, no none of that. Uh, I think Salah, the rookie six-round pick offensive lineman, I think he could be somebody that they could actually uh, put on injury reserve because I, I don't really feel like there will be a spot for him um, because they have their offensive line already. Obviously, the starters, Linda Baum, uh, Kevin Zeitler, John Simpson, uh, Morgan Moses, and Ronnie Stanley, and he is a guard slash tackle, but uh, you got Pat McCarry. He could play all the offensive line spots. Um, you got Daniel Filele, uh, and you got uh, Ben Cleveland as well. That could be your backup. So Ben Cleveland did look better than Salah uh, in this preseason, so maybe they'd be like, you know what, Salah, you'll, you'll go down for a little bit. But, hey, we'll see. I could be wrong about that one. Uh, and any other spots, maybe um, – Malik Ham, he could be another candidate uh, for injury reserve. Uh, oh, another one that will be on injury reserve. So we ain't even got to think about candidates. Pepe Williams, that is one that's definitely going to be, be being put on injury reserve because he's not expected to be back till October. So you're not going to have him just sitting on a roster hurt if he's not expected to be back till October. That's a roster spot that will definitely be getting opened up like right away. So that clears up a lot of confusion. So that, that's one spot right there. So those three guys, again, Josh Johnson, uh, Brent Urban, and Kevon Seymour, that, that's one spot right there for them for sure, uh, Pepe Williams spot. So we'll see uh, what happens with that. But Ravens got a, a lot of maneuvering, a lot of roster maneuvering to continue to do. Now, another person who could go to a short-term injury reserve, depending on the severity of his injury and the recovery, is Marlon Humphrey. So another cornerback spot. Um, John Harbaugh has continued to say, hey, Marlon Humphrey's going to be back in the early part of the season. Uh, we haven't gotten any clarification on exactly how early it will be. Uh, it sounds like whenever they talk about it, it sounds like he'll miss maybe two or three games, maybe four. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's anything past five, but that's just what I got from what everybody's been saying. Uh, we don't have any f- for sure certain dates or anything like that. Uh, b- that, that tell us how long Marlon Humphrey is going to miss. So we'll just keep waiting for that. Now, another thing that happened uh, with current, that's, that's, we covered everything that happened with current Ravens, um, but there's some stuff that happened with some former Ravens, and there were some former Ravens that were getting cut, and I was like, oh, man, it, it's crazy how things can change just like that. Like in an instant, things can change. Uh, remember Tyler Beatty? Ravens drafted him, I think last season, they, they, they drafted Tyler Beatty, didn't really find a place for him, uh, then they ended up cutting him, ended up cutting Tyler Beatty, uh, then he ended up catching on with the Denver Broncos in his very first game, he had a big touchdown play, and it was like, oh yeah, okay, Tyler Beatty, we see you, baby, and then that, that was it, uh, so he was on there, and then they ended up cutting him, uh, also, our running back, uh, what was his name? Well, Tyson Williams. There we go. Tyson Williams, who, oh, man, he had made 
He was nice. I really like Tyson Williams, man, because he was somebody that you, you could tell he was always a big player. He had some nice speed, nice cuts. Sometimes he had some trouble holding on to the ball. Uh, and then there were some times when I think just his his head wasn't in the game. Because um, I remember, I'll never forget that play against the, the Cincinnati Bengals. It was a fourth down play. Um, game was on the line, and Lamar Jackson throws it to Tyson Williams. And he, he runs out of bounds. Before he gets the first down market, and it's fourth. This is fourth down, so you running out of bounds. That ends it. That's it. That's a wrap. That it's over at that point. Um, but I do remember his good plays against the Raiders. He made some big, some nice long uh, runs, and, and I remember he had a nice long touchdown run too. But anyway, the Ravens had cut him, and I remember being upset about that. Cause I'm like, y'all really gonna go with these older veteran running backs who just they ain't got much left in the tank? But y'all gonna go with them over this young guy with all this energy, and you you can change him. But they cut him. Uh, he signed with the Colts, uh, but then. He ended up getting cut this offseason as well. Uh, and then there was Eric Tomlinson, uh, the tight end, Ravens tight end from a couple years back. Um, just primarily a blocking tight end. He caught a few passes here and there, but he ended up getting cut as well. But anyway, that's all the big updates we got for now. Got more coming later on, so y'all stay tuned for that. Now, there was something that um, I was shocked that the Ravens did uh, in this roster cut down I was really shocked and surprised that they did it I couldn't believe it uh, To find out what that is Watch this video right here Team keep it clean I love y'all Appreciate y'all And we out